Okay, I have two things to show today. I've got this little uh, Lucky Cat circuit that I've been working on here. Uh, it came out of a Lucky Cat uh, Good Luck Charm. Um, anyway, the circuit I've been working on is running this pulse motor, and uh, we're inside the house here. And there's no uh, no lights on or anything up here. Anyway, um, uh, we got the idea. Uh, Bodkins came up with the same idea. Why not put a little reed switch next to that rotor, and you can make this thing do something. So I did that, and I hooked it up to the stubble fuel coil here. And uh, the stubble fuel coil I built months and months ago dries out, and then it stops working, goes into a dormant state, and then I just get it wet again, and it goes off again. Uh, it doesn't run that long. You see the nothing's happening here. I only have a pulse motor hooked up to it. But with the reed switch and that thing there that runs off uh, ambient room light, I can switch this coil. And um, I've got a radio, a little radio here to listen, let you listen to it here. And you can hear this uh, go tick, 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 tick when I hook up the reed switch. You probably can't see that blink, but that's blinking in there. I'm going to add a little electricity to the coil here with this battery. Watch this thing go off. And that's the uh, Stubblefield coil secondary being exercised by that reed switch right there. Anyway, I just wanted to show folks that that's uh, an application for this circuit I'm working on here is an ambient room light powered switching device. As soon as it gets light in the morning, that automatically starts up. And that would let you have a uh, automatic uh, switching device of sorts, which I thought was pretty cool. That you could make something that uh, would switch something. The other thing I want to show is where I went with the circuit that here again I've, I can't replicate that circuit. I don't have the parts to do it so I'm going off in another direction. And I tried and tried to make that thing uh, exactly like that and I can't. I don't have the, the right parts. So anyway I'm back to working with this uh, auto start frequency pulse motor circuit. And I added a second coil to make this thing start up easier and I changed some of the values around. I went to a smaller capacitor here and a little bit smaller resistor up here. And the heart of this is this flashing LED that I got at Radio Shack. If anybody knows how that works, what is inside that, let me know. Because I've tried to replace that part and I can get the circuit to run but it won't self-start. And that's a little red LED blinking uh, LED that right here isn't even blinking, but let me hook this up. I'll show you how it self-starts now. There's the second coil I added. There goes the motor. It just starts right up. And uh, no problem at all. And of course, it lights up Maggie just fine. And uh, anyway, I really like this circuit here. That's the back EMF right there. And I worked uh, yesterday with the back EMF and that automatic pulser there with a capacitor pulse situation and uh, this is a kind of a winner here I like this let me stop this again and show you how it just comes to a stop I've got it down to draw in about uh, five or six milliamps it doesn't draw that much and uh, like I say now that it self starts uh, with that second coil it's a uh, it's pretty pretty darn good and I discovered this too today with my little friend Maggie she works way out here, and uh, as long as you keep her in the flux field, uh, her little neodymium ball in her mouth right there just spins on up. And if you if she stops, see she stopped right there. Let's bring her back in here. I'll start her up again. So I thought that was pretty cool that that little uh, spinning ball. By the way, all Maggie is is just a spool of 45 gauge wire. I got it at the store. It's probably, I don't know how many hundred or thousand feet of fine wire. And then on the back, there's a bridge rectifier. It goes in the back of her eyes. And those are two LEDs in parallel. And to the back of that bridge rectifier. And that's all there is to Maggie. There's not much to her. But she works. You know, she works real good. And she's a real useful tool for measuring these flux fields. And I've had a lot of fun with that little thing there. So, anyway, that's the latest for today. 
It's my uh, upgraded uh, auto start frequency pulse motor.